Hey guys, so today we are doing zombie brains. So if you guys want to learn how to do this, just keep watching. So all you need is a plate, a spoon to mix with, um, some instant oatmeal. I'm just using a Quaker oatmeal. And then what you're going to do is just put enough for you to need. You just need some to give the texture of brains. Then I'm going to add a little bit of water. You want enough for it to cook, but you don't want too much of it so that it gets too watery. You want it to be a dry consistency once it cooks in the microwave. So this should be plenty enough. Now I'm trying to position it so that it's a little bit higher and raised at certain areas so that when it actually comes to it cooking, it'll stay true to the shape once it's done in the microwave. All right, so now all I have to do is put this in. I'm gonna start it probably with about 30 seconds. You kind of just want to do a touch and go with it and see how it cooks off. You just want it to be really dry but still have that little bouncy consistency that oatmeal has once it's cooked. So I'm going to do that really quick. This is it after 30 seconds and that's pretty good. It kind of feels like it's about ready to go. I'm going to pop it in for another 10 seconds because I think that it will dry up just a little bit more. Now I let this cool off a little bit and it's pretty much good to go. As you can see, you can lift it off of the plate very carefully. And this is pretty much what the consistency is. As you can tell, it's kind of a, got this rubbery texture to it. Now, I'm going to put this on my face, so let me position the camera. Okay, I have a couple of other things going on with my face, but we're gonna work on the zombie brains right now. So what I did was I took spirit gum, and this is from Krylon. What you wanna do is just put it on the area where you want the oatmeal to actually stay and this kind of acts like a glue for it just to stay in place so I let it get tacky for a little bit and then I have this piece of oatmeal I'm gonna take off parts where I think that I won't need it and I'm going to just place it so I'm just gonna take off sections because this is gonna get covered with liquid latex anyway and I'm just gonna put it on my face Okay, so now that we have that on our face, I already started putting liquid latex on there. I'm taking a brush that I don't care about because it's going to get ruined. And I'm just putting the liquid latex over the oatmeal. I'm going to try to be as careful as I can because you are getting to your hairline or close to it. But you really don't want to get liquid latex on your hair because it's a pain to get out. Now you want to get it as blended as possible once you reach the outer edges of this oatmeal. I'm going to take some concealer. I'm using Ben Nye's uh, concealer wheel and I'm using it to go over this whole mound of texture just so that it looks more like one color. I'm going to go over this with some blood but this will serve as a good base color. Now I'm going to take some shadow. I'm taking Inglot's um, matte palette just because it's matte shadows. And I'm going to take like a dark brown color like this one right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start adding some shade to the edge right outer corner right here. And then I'm just going to put some random spots of darkness on this mound in different areas just to give it a little bit more dimension. Then I'm going to take this product that's a uh, thick blood and this is from Bed Nye and what's really kind of gross about it and pretty cool at the same time is it's really thick like it's kind of a jelly like consistency and I'm taking the back end of a tweezer and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to smear that on and let that get into the cracks. You want to make sure that you get it kind of a thinner consistency and then let the paint kind of gather, I'm sorry, the blood gather in different areas just so that it looks a little bit darker and then it'll start looking like brains pretty quick. Now I'm going to take some dark blood and I'm going to paint that on the actual spot where the brain is. So I'm just going to take a brush and dip that in some of the blood 
And this is going to change the consistency a little bit. It's going to make it look a little more gory in parts. And I say in this case, the more blood the better. <laughs> so I'm just going to let this kind of drip and run in different areas. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the um, brains. I did a lot more, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful for you guys, and until next time, I will see you guys soon. Bye.